Okay, boys, it is another day in St. Louis, and now I'm getting ready to go to brunch to Floor STL. So hopefully I have a better experience with food today, unlike uh, yesterday's food. Located at 622 Chateau Avenue in St. Louis, Missouri, it's Floor STL. As you can see, it is a very small diner where there is only counter space and two tables, I believe, off to the side. So this restaurant can fill up quickly. It is open every single day except Monday and Tuesday from 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. So get in here and definitely enjoy you a delicious brunch. What I enjoyed is that they actually brought out my mimosa with the ingredients. So I can make it as strong as I want or as juicy as I want with my own Prosecco and orange juice in glass containers. So I made my own mixture and really enjoyed my mimosa. And as you can see, there was plenty for multiple rounds of mimosas. So cheers and enjoy brunch at Flora STL. Now, as I'm making my mimosa, I wanna talk about the brunch. So they did have a variety of items on the menu and I was able to choose their wonderful biscuits and gravy meal, which was really good. They had a nice egg sunny side up placed on top and they really put in work making every single item, every single dish for every customer that came into the restaurant. It was really good and I was definitely pleased with my experience here for brunch. The floor is St. Louis, our floor STL was incredible. The food was really good. When I first got in there, there was no one there and then it's quickly filled right after I got my mimosa. But this spot is definitely a good go-to in St. Louis. And it's located on the corner of 7th Street and Chateau Avenue. Welcome to Anheuser-Busch, located at 1200 Lynch Street in St. Louis. I have purchased a ticket in advance for the Day Fresh Tour, which I'm headed to now. Some tours book up more than others, so it's good to buy your ticket online. All right, from brunch to Anheuser-Busch. So Anheuser-Busch owns brands like Budweiser and Stella Artois, but today I'm actually gonna go on a tour of the brewery here in St. Louis. So my tour starts at 12, I'm here a little early, but we're gonna go inside, get out this heat, and enjoy the tour. Once you arrive at the anheuser Bus Brewery Experience area, you will walk in, you'll see the welcome sign, and right at the welcome sign, you'll see where you can check in for your tour, and they will tell you where you need to meet at. If you get there early, you can look around at some of the history and artifacts before the tour starts, as well as shop at the gift shop or use the restroom. Now let's enjoy the tour and some of the history. This is the only remaining structure of one bush place in the New Dutch branch on the 1920s. You actually see it pick, uh, in the picture in the bottom right. Is this included President Franklin Delano Roosevelt, the White House in Washington, D.C. I know y'all are good. Introduce some fresh pork and some fresh cheese to the mixture, and that's going to allow it to properly ferment, and more importantly, they actually carbonate. King and King's younger brother. Here's that bud light. Thank you. Y'all are. During the tour, you will be able to try beer twice while on site, and you will be given a beer to take with you, which you will see later in this video. Let's continue with the tour. It's going by pretty fast and it's only an hour and 15. It just seems like it's been 15 minutes. Pretty good. Sit down, enjoy for all of you wonderful people. Now I'm going to switch up gears time for starting to make brains. Uh, for the brewing process, we use cattle feed, something we still do. Here's where you grab the brier to take with you, which was just made that day. And then you hop on the shuttle that will take you back to the entrance to end your tour and get another tasting of beer. <laughs> All right, I am done at Anheuser-Busch for the tour. Like I mentioned, 
earlier, it was a great tour. The tour is an hour and 15 minutes, which is the Day Fresh tour that I went on. They have a variety of different tours, but it was so cool. You got to see the Clydesdales, you got to learn about Dalmatians, you got to learn about the history of anheuser Bush. There was two taste tests. You got to see where they make different beers, just learn the history. So definitely a wonderful experience out here and it doesn't even cost that much. I believe it costs $16. I'll put it down below here on the screen to confirm, but great time. But now I'm about to catch an Uber over to the St. Louis Art Museum um, because that is 19 minutes away by car. So I can't walk there and I can't take a scooter. By the way, I took a bird scooter for the first time in like 10,000 years. I do not like scooters and I think it's because I live in Atlanta and people, the traffic's bad and people take scooters and you get in the traffic. I've had scooters run in front of me and I'm like, they're just dangerous. And I tried to ride a scooter one time in Atlanta and I was like, I can't do this. But I rode the scooter here and it was great because there ain't much traffic and people don't drive crazy. So, and it was needed because it is too doggone hot today. Now we're headed into the art museum. So coming in the art museum, it is free unless there's special exhibits. And if there's special exhibits, yeah, you have to buy a ticket, but otherwise it is free. During my trip to St. Louis, I had always planned to come to the art museum because it was free. Up on entry, I see that there's this Jay-Z culture exhibit because I hadn't looked up any exhibits before coming in. So I checked that out and then I started walking around and looking at the other free exhibits. And then all of a sudden I turn a corner and there is this thing called the culture, hip hop and contemporary art in the 21st century. There's a shop, there's a DJ, there's a lot of good vibes going. And then there's also Panorama, their restaurant. And it was lunchtime for me, so I decided to go over and get lunch at Panorama before I continued at the art museum. This restaurant is open for brunch and lunch, and you have to look at the specific times because I am not too sure. I ended up getting their chicken and burrata sandwich, and it was pretty good. It was kind of messy. It came with a side of chips, but it was really good for a nice lunch, and it was $15. Once I filled up on the chicken sandwich, I got up and I went over to the culture. Now this is a special exhibit and this is not free. It is $12 for adults, $10 for students and seniors, $6 from children, six to 12, and free for five and under. As you can see, there's a lot of different pieces of artwork about the culture, artwork of people who are part of the culture in the past, things like grills and braids and all this type of stuff that contributes to hip hop in our culture. So I really enjoyed this exhibit. And I'm glad that it was here while I was visiting. This exhibition actually goes through January 1st, 2024. So if you have time, still go. And then this was cool. On the way out, I saw that there was another exhibit. This is some shoes made out of a wrecked car. So that was very interesting. And then I also saw an exhibit free out outside of the exhibit about Kendrick Lamar and based on his Mad City album. Now let me head on out and start to make my way back to my hotel. So the art museum is pretty cool. Most of their permanent, well, their permanent exhibits are always free. Um, but if there's like a temporary exhibit, you'll have to pay the fee, it was $12, but it was well worth it for the culture. So now I'm in Forest Park, which is where the museum is located. There's also a zoo here, which is also free entry, but this park is pretty cute. So let's try to get some photos. That's how I feel about the art museum. You need a plan in there because, I mean, it's not a move situation but you need a plan for what you're going to see because it is kind of overwhelming. driver earlier. I was 
was like, does it usually hit this hot in August? You say, yeah, August is really hot. They usually have like um, performances at the amphitheater, but they end them in mid-August because it's too hot outside. So Forest Park is lovely. It has golf course, it has the fountain. I saw someone doing yoga out in this heat in Forest Park. Um, there's a natural history museum here or a history museum up here, which I'm gonna go in for a moment because it is free, but I'm pretty sure it closes at five like the other museums here, but I need some AC and maybe a bottle of water. So I just got off the Metro Link and walking back to my hotel. It has, St. Louis has been entering some really interesting people up in here, but all good so far. The main reason I went to St. Louis was to see Beyonce yet again at the Renaissance World Tour, which was at the Dome at America Center. I was fortunate to get club Renaissance seats because they were actually still available and they weren't at resale value, just the normal ticket value. I decided to go here because it was a cheaper market than Atlanta or another major city. And I had promised myself during On The Run 2 that the next time I saw Beyonce I was gonna get four seats, but the struggle was so real to get tickets in Atlanta that I forgot. And then I remembered and I was like, I must get Club Renaissance tickets. And so that landed me here to experience the Renaissance in St. Louis. The greatest So I'm still in St. Louis. Last night I went to see Beyonce in concert. So hopefully you enjoyed some of those footage, some of the footage from that. But now I'm headed to Winnie's Wine Bar. I just finished working all day from the hotel room. So let's check it out. Welcome to Winnie's Wine Bar located at 2101 Shuto Avenue in St. Louis. The wine bar is open Tuesday through Thursday from 3 p.m. to 9 p.m. and Friday and Saturday from 3 p.m. to 10 p.m. As you can see, they do offer different specials on different days of the week. So definitely check out their specials so you can take full advantage of them as you enjoy wine, which is your passport to the world. As you can see, they have a huge selection of wines to choose from as they have red and white wines from around the globe. But if you're not too fancy of wine, they do have beer and cocktails available for other people in your party if they don't like wine. They also have small plates and shareable plates and desserts, which was great. So I got me a nice little small plate of mac and cheese, which was actually really, really good. And I ended up doing a wine flight, which came out in this tree. So the wine was stacked up in a tree and the card at the top explained each wine that you got in your flight. So I really enjoyed that. And they do have a, a variety of different wine flights available for you to try and it is obviously a really nice vibe inside of Winnie's Wine Bar. So definitely check it out if you're in St. Louis. Welcome to the Grove. We're gonna go check out one of the spots on the street and have a good time. The Grove is a thriving district, which is about a mile long on Manchester Avenue between Kings Highway and Vandeventer in St. Louis. On this street, you can find a variety of different businesses from places to eat, drink, to dance, getting a tattoo done, going to a brewery, coffee shop, whatever. You can find a variety of businesses here. The Grove, which was known as the Manchester Strip in the late 19th century, was a retail area to serve the working class population of the Forest Park Southeast area. Unfortunately, the area, this district started to decline in the 1950s, but then, an LGBTQ plus community led wave of investments began to lead this area into better investments and better thriving situation, as you can see here. So definitely stop by the Grove. You can have a lot of good things going on here. A lot of good food, a lot of just a great time here on the Grove. I stopped by Soul Taco because I was still hungry after mac and cheese. 
and got me some dumplings, which was really good. So definitely check out The Grove in St. Louis. Okay, so Winnie's wine bar was so cute. They give a lot, a lot for the wine pours, a lot. They give pretty much half glass, which is a lot for a flight, <laughs> but um, it's definitely worth the money. And the side plate was great portion if you're like solo. Now, if you're sharing it, then you know, you may have to order other small plates, which is great. Um, the Grove was really nice, but on Tuesday, everything closed pretty early. Um, that's fine. It's a Tuesday. But I did go to the Korean tacos place with their dumplings, which I didn't need much because I had the small plate of Winnie's. The dumplings were really good. I should have went into Platypus on the Grove because that was popping till later, but I just didn't want to deal with that vibe. I didn't want this food. I just wanted something small, so I didn't do that. All right, Explorers, I really hope you enjoyed this video with things to do in St. Louis. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the like button, leave any questions or comments down below about this video. Make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell. It's free for you to do so. And make sure you share this video with your friends, family, and social media networks. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day or night, wherever in the world you are. Bye.